Now, I'm not the biggest fan of drama, but it's kind of hard to look away when two of the biggest Minecraft creators in the scene have both created a similar idea for a server. And because of this, two communities are pretty much fighting over whose idea it was first and who copied who. And you know, it's fine. You can stick up for a creator that you like, but it's gotten a bit too far. And Dream has just talked about this on Twitter. And some of the stuff he says is really something to note. There's been dots. Thing. There's been threats. I mean, he's even talked about people trying to put trackers on his family's cars. That is mental for Minecraft drama. And before we get into what Dream has said, if you want to know my opinion on this, I think it shouldn't even exist. I think two massive creators making servers to bring multiple communities together should just be a positive thing. There doesn't need to be one better than the other, or there doesn't need to be one that came first and somebody else copied. Just be happy there's more content about. Because remember, everybody's just trying to make content and live their lives. I don't think you should be sending threats to each other. It's not worth it. Anyways, let's get into what Dream said. So early on Twitter, he releases a, a pretty much a book of just stuff. And at the start, it says this is going to get a bit personal. If you're not in the mood to read something a little upsetting, then, you know, move on. But it's something he needs to say because there's a lot of community drama. He starts off with saying that when me and my friends started working on the United SMP, the QSMP hadn't even been announced yet. Quackity had kept things to his chest. He wasn't telling anybody about it. And Dream says he was just wanting to to make another Minecraft server for everybody to play on, and he believes that Quackity was thinking the same thing. He then goes on to say that the idea was just to have a server to be able to hop on Minecraft and play survival Minecraft again. And after Squid Games, the Twitch Rivals event, we all agreed that it'd be awesome to have creators from around the world. So he started to work on the translation mod, which is one of the things that created this drama. He goes on to say that he storyboarded ideas for the SMP, got in calls with a lot of creators to talk about this and show his excitement for this idea, and he was just really excited to play Minecraft again after so long. He then goes on to talk about the QSMP announcement. He says he was surprised and reached out to Quackity to express support for the project. And he also told Quackity about the idea he was doing, the USMP and how he wanted to bring people from around the world onto a server. And Dream also says that he asked Quackity to chat. Now at this time, the QSMP hadn't talked about any translation stuff and was solely English and Spanish based. So he thought that the two servers could coexist because they're sort of different ideas. And at this point, Dream was hoping to share the mod that he's been creating, the translation mod, with Quackity for the server if he was interested. But Quackity didn't really reply to him at this time. Dream says he assumed that he was probably overwhelmed and busy with the QSMP, so he reached out to multiple members of the server and got varying reassurance that the QSMP was a passion project to bring Quackity's two biggest communities together. The servers were completely different with hardly any creator overlap or idea overlap based on what he was planning. And even those creators on the QSMP expressed strong interest interested in playing on both, and excitement about all the communities coming together. To Dream, this would be a new era of SMPs. And then Dream goes on to talk about his interest in sharing the translation mod with everybody for free, and was hoping that he'd give it to Quackity as well so that he could have it on the server. But he didn't really know how to approach Quackity about this without trying to feel like he's butting his way into the QSMP project. And after talking with some of the QSMP members, it encouraged him to keep on working on the idea, and that the server, the USMP, wouldn't really be a dream dream thing, a dream SMP too, it would be something where there's six other owners because of the massive communities in it. Each language would have their sort of own owner. Dream even says that Quackity was put down on the USMP's original owners list when they were looking for people to join and coming up with ideas. Quackity would have been the owner for the Spanish community, as this would have been before the QSMP was even talked about. Anyways, Dream goes on to then talk about his upload, about the translation mod. He says that this video was originally planned to be an April Fool's joke. That's that's why there was people playing as George Not Found and his other friends. And after the video was uploaded, he posted a little promotional photographic for the USMP, which we've already seen. The next day, Quackity announced his translation mod for the QSMP, with the same functionality and everything the same. Dream says he can't lie, and says that he was a little bit taken back and even slightly disappointed, as he knew this would probably lead to drama. But at the same time, he was also super excited and hopeful for the future of Minecraft content. Dream says he was excited to share ideas, potentially share a development to make things even easier and better for the community, and just have a cool thing to talk about with Quackity that they were both working on and both clearly passionate about. After that, he says he reached out to Quackity again, expressing support and laughing about the fact that they had such similar ideas, but Quackity didn't even reply to his previous message, and he didn't reply to the new ones either. Dream says he bumped him, mentioning that there was a lot of drama going on with the communities and fan bases and it was building up, and suggested that they both talked about it and tried to work it out so they can avoid this being
being a thing. Dream says that all the hatred and infighting of communities could have been avoided if the creators communicated. After that, days went by with Quackity not replying. Dream says he bumped him again, talked over the timeline of everything, etc, etc, but still no response. So Dream tried to reach out to other friends on the QSMP and figured it wasn't really something that Quackity had against Dream, it was just communication struggles. He says he was getting very stressed and concerned about it. He didn't want to lose a friendship between the two of them because of something that could have been talked about. He says that QSMP members and even non-members that were friends of his attempted to reach out to get clarity or figure out what was going on. And from what he gathered, there was no responses. And that it was strongly alluded from Quackity that you wouldn't be allowed to play on both servers if you were a part of the QSMP. Dream says this totally makes sense for Quackity as there's not many creators on the QSMP and it takes a lot of time to make all the mods and updates for content and you want it to be as active as possible. But this is where Dream goes on to talk about the community splitting against each other and having hate towards each other. He says he's seen things such as threats, doxing, fights, slander and a lot of hate between the bunch of fan bases. And he also says that personally he's experienced an elevated level of in real life threats and stalkers. He even had to get the police involved in somebody showing up to his house and even putting trackers on his family's vehicles. Surrounding this drama. He then goes on to say that this sort of stuff is the reason he wants to talk about this whole thing publicly and he feels like clarity is important in this situation. And then in his final tweet he says it's really not worth all the drama. He wants to play Minecraft again with friends and really can't wait to doing so and announces that the United SMP concept will be changed so that it's again different enough from the QSMP to not compete with it. He'll keep the main goal of uniting creators from around the world just to simply play vanilla Minecraft so the original 10 creators from each language, these languages etc is going to be changing to a different structural format due to the QSMP. He doesn't want the two SMPs to be similar and had no idea they would be. He says his intention was never to try and compete with another SMP or cause any friendship problems or drama in the community. It was just to have fun and put out cool unique content. His final part of this tweet goes on to talk about how he loves everything that Quackity is doing and has a lot of respect for Quackity and believes that all this drama and all the terrible stuff that's going on shouldn't be happening and that if you are doing this stuff you just aren't welcome in the community. Now I believe Quackity hasn't responded to any of this just yet and hasn't spoken about it publicly and in my opinion I do believe he will go on to at some point because this has gotten way bigger than it needs to be but I think it's quite sad that Dream feels like he has to change up the whole entire USMP idea just because it's similar to another SMP. At the end of the day they're just making content and both of these SMPs can strive together. There doesn't need to be one SMP shadowing the other or one SMP better than the other. They can both just live and if you don't want one overshadowing the other just support both. At the end of the day it's all free content and if you don't want to watch one you don't have to. You don't have to start harassing people and doing this terrible stuff to each other because one person likes a different thing to you. You know, let's just all be friends. I'll keep you updated if anything more happens with this. Hopefully it doesn't. And take a look at this video where we show off an early look at the USMP. Well, if it's still happening.